Okay guys, we are all the way to the last recipe for breakfast in Keto Made Easy by Keto Connect. So today we're going to be making sausage and gris breakfast casserole. Right there is what it's going to look like. It has calories are 282 calories, fat is 22 grams, protein is 18.6 grams, Carbs are 1.8, 1.1 carbs, and fiber is zero. So we're going to go ahead and preheat the oven for 350 degrees. So I'm going to do that right now. So we'll wait for my oven to go. And we're going to grease a pan here. I've got this here with some organic avocado and coconut and sapphire oil spray. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this here. I think I bought this and, whoa! <laughs> it doesn't work very well. So it kind of broke on the top there. So we're gonna use that first. And then it says in a large skillet over medium sized heat, we're gonna cook some of the ground pork so we're gonna go ahead and move you guys over here to the oven here and we're going to cook this ground pork and I got this today at Sprouts so we're gonna cook this ground pork here over medium high heat I just think that ground pork doesn't have very much flavor to it. So we'll hopefully, this adds in some good ingredients in this recipe to make it taste good. Because ground pork to me is very bland. Like that, I made a mess. So we're going to let this sit here a minute and cook while I wash my hands. Um, partially cook the pork, stir it to break it up about five minutes. So we're going to use the spatula here and cook it for about five minutes. Set my timer here. Clear timer. But, so we're going to cook this pork up a little bit. And then we're going to add some scallions to it. So we're going to just break it up a little bit more and then I'm going to take you back over to the actually I can just bring it over here so we'll let this sit and cook for a minute while I grab the scallions and we can cut those up here really quickly put you guys down a little bit further so we're going to go ahead and cut this up here Says to use a whole bundle. I am not a big fan of onions, but we're gonna do what the recipe says. So we're gonna set these aside here. And we're just going to put these up here. I lost a stem. There we go. So this is a lot of onions. So if you like scallions, I mean scallions. If you like scallions, good option. I think that's good enough. That's a lot more than I would put in there. 
but we're going to cook that up here and we're going to add this kind of so got three minutes on the pork here before we add anything to it Maybe chop up the scallions a little bit more. I can't believe it says to use a whole bundle. I guess if you like onions, it doesn't really affect you, huh? There we go. Okay, so we're going to add these in here cook these down with it I'm up for trying new things so I'm gonna add this in here move you guys a little closer here where we add the rest of the ingredients so I'm going to get this all mixed in here together There we go. It looks colorful. Green and red. <laughs> Very colorful. And then we're going to add in red pepper flakes. So let me grab those. We're going to do a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Of red pepper flakes. So. Ha! You see that? That's funny. We're just going to add in some red paper flakes and then we're going to add in cloves, a pinch of cloves. So, that's probably good. And stir this around a little bit. The only time I ever use cloves is when I make pumpkin <laughs> pumpkin pie or something for the holidays. So that'll be an interesting flavor to taste. And then we're going to add salt, which means the pink Himalayan salt. So we're going to add in a teaspoon, one teaspoon. That's my oven. So one teaspoon, a lot of salt, probably to add some flavor to the ground pork. So that's good. And then pepper. So a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper. And I don't like to measure pepper, so we're just going to add in pepper there and stir this up a little bit and combine and cook until the pork is fully cooked and browned for an additional five minutes. So we're gonna let this sit for another five minutes here while this cooks. Put the timer on. And then It smells good, but okay, it says add okay. So once it's done cooking, then we're gonna add a few more spices to it. before we put it in the dish. Trying to get all the pork not red. I'm gonna get a brown here. And this is actually gonna cook for about 40 
the 45 minutes once we get this all done it's going to cook for a long time so I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes and we're going to move you guys back over to the counter here where we're going to finish up the rest of the recipe here it's still about three minutes to cook there so we're going to actually cut up some sage we got some fresh sage in the store today some sprouts let's smell it I've never had fresh sage before hmm I don't know you guys it smells very earthy I don't know what to think about it and it says to do mm, one tablespoon of chopped sage so I'm just kind of cutting it up there there we go one tablespoon is that a tablespoon you think well, I got one right here so let's see yeah that's probably good because it's pretty yeah I'd say good Ew, it's a strong smell goodness gracious okay so we're almost done with this it's got two minutes the bowl let me get the bowl So in a large bowl here, we're going to put together the eggs and the cream in one cup of shredded cheese. So we're actually going to need eight eggs. That's a lot of eggs, you guys. Eight eggs. I'm kind of glad this is the last breakfast recipe. I'm ready to move on to something else. I think the next section in the recipe book is bread bread expired um, ex recipes. So that's four five Okay, one more egg. That's a lot of eggs, you guys. Okay. Let me wash my hands really quickly. I'm going to get my whisk. Start whisking this. Meat is done, so we're going to bring it over here and let it sit here for a second. Add in that rest of that breakfast sausage seasoning. is gonna because of all the different <laughs> seasonings it's all hitting my nose here so we're going to quickly add in the sage here so a little bit of fresh sage and then we're gonna add in some mar I don't know how to pronounce it let me grab it here where did it go here it is marigem I've never heard of it before we're going to be adding in one teaspoon. There we go. And it doesn't smell very good either. So you will see how this goes. So before I got to finish this mixture first, and then we're going to put it all in that, in this dish and then bake it. 
So I'm just going to set this off to the side here, guys, while we fix up the rest of this mixture. There we go. So now we're going to add in the fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream. So heavy whipping cream here, guys. It's got a huge dent on the side of it. So heavy whipping cream. Fourth of a cup. And then we're going to add in, whisk that up, and then a cup of shredded cheese. The cheese that we're going to be using today is this cheese here. It is uh, the Gary cheese. I got this at Safeway, or not Safeway, Fries. And it looks like this. The cheese actually smells really good. I just need to shred it up and put it in this egg mixture here. So I'm gonna use put this off to the side here for just a second. This over here, and then we're going to shred. It says to use one and fourth, one cup, and then a fourth of a cup. So quite a bit of cheese here. I love cheese. I like any kind of cheese, really, except for blue cheese. But I like blue cheese if it's in a salad. I don't mind it. But blue cheese can be a little bit difficult for me to eat sometimes if it's too much of it. I'm just trying to get this whole one down here. I think this whole brick will be good enough. There we go. Without cutting my fingers. There we go. Let's see. Here's my cup. So let me put it down a little bit more so you guys can see the size of the cup here. I think pretty good at measuring this stuff, don't I? <laughs> so we're going to put this in there and then use the rest of it as the fourth of cup. So we did pretty good on that. So put this up to the side here. Now we're going to mix this up here and then add in the meat and then put it in the other dish and bake it for 350 degrees for 40 minutes. So we're going to add in the rest of the meat here. I'm just going to set this down on my little plate here and add in the rest of this meat here. I'm going to kind of drain it as I go. So I'm going to use this little thing here to kind of scoop up the meat here without making a mess. We'll see how well this goes. This meat is not smelling the best to me, but We'll see how it tastes all together. Perfect. Just kind of draining it as I go. So if you kind of Watch me here. Watch what I do here. I just kind of tip it up. Kind of let the meat go to the bottom. And then just hold it up here so that all the juices get out of there. There we go. That should be good. Now we're going to mix it. I'm 
That's a lot of cheese. That looks good. And then we're going to put it in here. So I'm going to put this off to the side here. This pan is still a little hot. I'm going to grab this here and we're going to pour it in here. I don't want to leave any cheese behind. I need to grab a spatula. Here we go, guys. I got a spatula. I don't want to leave any good cheese behind. So, getting all that cheese out of there. Perfect. Just gonna going to settle it there and then we're going to put it in the oven for about 40 minutes and we'll be back um, to check on it in just a second okay see you guys in about 40 minutes thank you hey guys we're back we're going to finish the um, sausage and gruyere breakfast casserole it's been 40 minutes i let it cool for a little bit and this is what it looks like it actually looks pretty good we just got to see what it tastes like let me open it right here and take a bite. But remember, I'm not a big fan of these scallions, so we're going to see how they it tastes. I'm going to bring it back up here. tastes like egg bake that's what it reminds me of I would need to put some hot sauce or something on it but other than that it tastes pretty good so if you like egg bake it tastes good the scallions I can't even taste them very much um, the sage not too much just uh, it's all good together all the different flavors so yeah this is pretty good thanks for watching guys have a great day